New at 10, a restaurant in Schuylkill County was awarded a sensational certification for their efforts in the community. Fox 56's Josh O'Coolum was in Tam Tamaqua and met the owner and now joins us live in the news center. Josh, what does this award mean? Yes, Raylan La Dulce Casa de Maggio's owner and staff were honored today for their efforts to revitalize and help the community. Every time I look at this building, I remember what it looked like 30 years ago. It was ready to collapse. And today, it's, it's the pride of the community. And Alfie is one of the key ingredients that's made that happen. State Senator David Argo recognized owner Alfonso Picone for his efforts over the last 35 years in the community. And these people mean the world to me. Um, started from 35 years ago. And, and I see what this town needs, and I grew up with them, so we kind of relate each other. Like, I feel like this town is all my big family. The Kone's restaurant has been in its current spot on Broad Street since the early 2000s. He took a building that no one else wanted. It was on the tax sale. Then he took the building next door. Then he took another vacant building. Argo says the restaurant's success has increased and reaches more people. Picone adds his free Thanksgiving dinners and over 50,000 Christmas light display has helped bring the community of Tamaqua together. We brought people from all over, from Allentown, Bethlehem, Lehigh Valley, from everywhere. And that was a great feeling. I mean, everybody come down to a little town like Tamaqua and, and recognize this town, recognize it, the, the community, how great it is, how beautiful it is. In being a part of the community, they continue to host events year round, including today, where a Boy Scout achieved the rank of Eagle. I never take it for granted. Every day I come to work, it's like my first day at this job. I never settle for say, this is it. I want to get bigger and better. Now, Senator Argyle tells me he has been a happy, frequent customer over the years and will continue. Reporting live, Joshua Coulomb, Fox 56 News, First to 10.